my goodness good morning happy monday the first monday of 2022 and i don't know if you guys have been looking on my instagram photos at all this morning but if you have this is what we woke up to this morning just a beautiful beautiful winter wonderland out here oh my goodness it is so pretty and you can actually like see how tall the mountain is back there because the snow kind of just defines it a little bit oh my goodness it is so pretty wow really really pretty it's probably when the sun comes out it's going to start melting i don't know if it's going to stay till noon we'll keep an eye on it and we'll see how how long it stays but oh my goodness it is so pretty <laughs> it is so pretty and it's cold outside very very cold like really cold <laughs> like so cold it's so great <laughs> like i'm i'm welcoming the cold really i'm like okay it's cold thank you god um especially for menopausal women we welcome the cold um but then five minutes we can still be out there and it'll still be like I'll still have a hot flash doesn't matter but anyway good morning friends happy Monday like I said a few minutes ago it is the first Monday of 2022 um, Brian is um, gone today he is uh, he'll help me he went just the other side of town which he made it thank goodness um, he has training and stuff today um, which is uh, great because we thought maybe they were going to have to cancel just depending on the roads and everything. But the roads seem to be pretty good, which is surprising. I think the the, the snow stopped around 1 o'clock in the morning. So it definitely had plenty of time to kind of clear the roads. Um, but it was still like very iffy with the black ice and all that stuff. So those of you who live in the south and understand the whole like snow issue, black ice, we don't have salt trucks and we don't have snow plows. So it's kind of like they usually shut everything down, but um, they didn't, which is again, quite surprising. I think a lot of things are on delay though. So like starting later today, but anyway, um, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, and I just took a shower, did my face. I'm getting ready to go do my hair right now, and I actually want to get out a little bit. I want to kind of go down to the park here down the street and just take a bunch of pictures and freeze my butt off for a little while. Um, I actually wanted to go on the other side of town as well. I kind of wanted to walk through Home Goods and see what they had out. I just kind of wanted to, like I said, get out of the house like I did the other day and go to Hobby Lobby. Um, when I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, it just felt good to just kind of like get out of the house. And then um, I'm going to throw some laundry in. Today is like towel day. I need to change sheets on the bed today. But I actually just kind of want to like meh, skip that for right now. I just kind of want to go outside and enjoy this winter wonderland that we have here in Alabama and kind of just do some other things. Things that I just didn't do all weekend because we were just staying home and relaxing besides the trip to Hobby Lobby. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to do today. I'm going to take you guys along and uh, yeah, let's just kind of, let's just kind of have some fun today. I don't want to worry about all that stuff. I mean, I still will do it, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, I also want to sit down and do a video. So if I don't get the video done today, I might get it done tomorrow. But I do have a video that I want to sit down and, and, and do with you guys or share with you guys. Um, it's just about plans for 2022 and travel plans and, and all this good stuff. So maybe things, I don't have anything really that's great that's going to be changing on YouTube or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe more fun content recipes. Oh, speaking of recipes, that's what I want to do too. I want to go to Publix really quick and run in there and get some stuff for a recipe that I want to try today. It looks so good. It's a, a nice warm soup and I think it'll be perfect for today. So we're going to do that. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to hang out with you guys in the new year and get, out, get it off to a great start. So uh, yeah, let me get my hair done and we'll hit the road. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since there's no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. No, it's done snowing. <laughs> we are not, uh, it's not showing any signs of snowing anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm out and about. Um, this is so pretty. Like the mountains are so pretty full of snow. Like gorgeous. 
gorgeous and there's people outside like taking pictures and stuff of course of course there is why not right um <coughs> oh man don't be throwing snowballs <laughs> I was waiting for that kid to throw a snowball he saw my car coming and he ran back out of the street and picked up a snowball and I'm like hmm gotta watch those little chitlins little sneaky little kids oh my goodness <clears throat> I have a little tickle you can see like the peaks of the snow okay so like out there you can see like the snow on the mountains it's so pretty we're gonna go see that Look at our entrance. Look how pretty this is. Brian actually said it was a beautiful drive to work this morning or to his office. Oh my goodness. And yes, it is so pretty. I stopped uh, over here just a second ago and stopped and took some pictures of all of the trees and the pine trees and stuff. I mean, this is so pretty. What a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous drive. Wow, so pretty. Look at that. Ooh, so nice. So pretty. And like I said, you can now like see the top of the mountains because they're so defined by all of the snow. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. Wow. I knew it was gonna be pretty here when it snowed. Absolutely beautiful. So the last time we saw snow, obviously don't forget, we were in Wyoming. We were at Yellowstone, because it started snowing as soon as we got into Yellowstone, which is, just made it so much more magical. So pretty. I'm gonna go down here and see what our um, subdivision sign looks like. So pretty. All right, so now I'm going down Montesano Mountain. Um, look at how beautiful. Brian was right. It is so pretty. I'm trying to actually stay away from the center right there so I don't get sucked in, but look how pretty. Alrighty, so made it down Montesano, which is great. It was so beautiful. Everything around here is just so beautiful right now. I'm just like, it's so beautiful, like, it's so nice. But um, I am in line at Starbucks. I'm actually, today is a perfect day to get a Starbucks. So that is what I'm going to do and then I'm gonna make my way over to um, Home Goods and uh, see what they have available. I have a text and I don't know, 90243? Whoa, who's that? <laughs> Walking into Home Goods, like nobody is here. The parking lot is so empty, but it's open. It opened at 9.30 and it's like 9.50. My goodness. Alrighty, so I came down like their clearance aisle just kind of looking at some of their clearance stuff. I do like the black, like velvety reindeer. But they have those things on there and you probably can't take those off. Darn. This is what you deal with here though. Like people don't want to clear off their whole entire car so they leave their back window covered up. And just a second ago, I just saw somebody with their whole windshield covered and the only thing that they had open was a spot for them to look out from when they're driving. The rest of their whole windshield was full of snow. It's like, no, you clear off the whole windshield. That was just the stupidest thing. I was just shaking my head. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, these people, 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 people just don't get it. Some people just don't get it. I guess everybody else has the same idea out here because we're out here all like taking pictures of downtown area. It is so pretty. Luckily, I got a spot right there in front. So there's all the Christmas tree trails over there. And this is all the Christmas tree trail part over here as well. But yeah, everybody's down here taking pictures. Why not, right? So this is all part of that Christmas tree trail that we walked through a couple weeks ago and it's all full of snow. How beautiful, gorgeous. Alrighty, so before I sit down and have lunch, it is noon, I just got home and I need to take this 
for a picture and maybe for a thumbnail. I don't know. But anyway, nonetheless, I'm actually going to go ahead and put all of this together. Um, it calls for, you know, diced up yellow onion and a diced celery. And I did buy two yellow onions that I was going to dice up, but then I found these that are already diced up, which saves me a bunch of time, which is fabulous. Um, so I'm just going to pop all of these in there. I did pick up some fresh oregano um, and some fresh basil because I'm sure that my stash is probably expired. Um, I do have some new jars coming and I do plan on putting all of these in jars um, and labeling them and obviously going through them to see what is fresh and what isn't and then throwing away stuff and then writing down ones that I actually need. So I did buy some fresh ones because of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'm actually just going to go ahead and put it in my Dutch oven on the stove and let it start cooking since it is already 12 o'clock. And this does not have any meat in it. It's just like a pasta soup. So I don't even know what to call it, but we're going to call it pasta soup. <laughs> And oh, 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 and um, these they didn't call for elbows, they called for like detali or something like that, detali noodles, I think. Um, but I couldn't find detali noodles um, in uh, gluten free, so elbow, elbows, it is. from Home Goods, and I thought I would sit down and show you guys a few of the things that I picked up while I was there. Um, I didn't really have anything in particular that I was looking for. Um, I just kind of knew if I saw something that I liked, I was just going to go ahead and grab it. So I have a few things here for my bedroom, um, our master bedroom, um, some Valentine stuff, and a miscellaneous pan. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'll share you guys share with you guys uh, some of the Valentine stuff first. Okay, so. <clears throat> These were kind of tucked away, and I just thought these were super adorable. I loved the colors on them, and they're just so cute for Valentine's Day. And even the cashier that was checking me out um, said these were so cute, and he saw them when they came in, and he loved them. He just thought they were so pretty. So I'm like, yes. I'm like, I grabbed them because they are so pretty. All righty. Um, the next thing that I grabbed was this little, um, this is a sugar bowl and creamer set. It is also very Valentine's-y, uh, for Valentine's Day. A couple of weeks ago, I was in Home Goods and I bought like two like little dishes. Um, and there's like four of them. And I just thought these would be super cute as well, either on my chicken wire shelf or just anywhere in the kitchen or whatever, just because they're super cute and they're... Valentine's Eve. Um, and then I picked up these cute little um, sugar on top uh, crystal. Bl this is a crystal blend, um, like little sprinkles that you can put on like a cupcake or something. And I just thought this would be cute. And I'll tell you why in just a second. And then um, these ones are a heart blend. So I thought these would be super cute. And I ordered some jars. I said earlier I had ordered some jars for my spices. And if I have any of the jars like left over, I just thought these would be kind of cute to put in those jars and then just kind of maybe sit um, <clears throat> on my tiered tray or on my chicken wire uh, little shelf thing in the kitchen. So um, that's why I got those. And then the last thing that I got for Halloween, or for Halloween, for Valentine's Day was this cute little mini casserole um, like ceramic 
heart-shaped casserole dish. Super cute, comes with a lid. I just thought this was super cute too, just to kind of like sit up on its side or just put the lid on sideways and maybe put some cute little hearts in there or something. But this is super, super cute, love this. So that'd be perfect for Valentine's Day. And then, this is the miscellaneous little um, cake pan that I got. I needed a nine by nine. I have one like this size or small, but it's a little bit smaller, so it's not exactly a nine by nine, but this one I just needed um, because I needed a nine by nine. So I got this, it was only $4.99, so I didn't think it was all that bad. Um, so yeah, got a pan. And then this was a Christmas thing that I picked up. It's just a cute little like jar vase thing it's got christmas trees and stuff on it all the way around and it's blue so it kind of matches my living room in here so i thought this would be kind of pretty to set up in my living room next year and it was clearance for five dollars so that's why i grabbed it so and then um i am wanting to kind of change up not change up so much but i just kind of like the wintry decor um so i'm going to put this stuff in our master bedroom which is more like the blacks and the ivories so i picked up this really pretty vase that i'm going to put on our dresser and put some of my flowers in i think um this was 19.99 so it was a little bit pricier than something that i would probably purchase but um, i really wanted it i thought it was really pretty because i like the texture of it as well it just has such a really pretty design and it's very like deep and it's very heavy as well so i just thought if i add some black in there it'll be really pretty um i got this little plant because it's a fake plant of course because i i love the jar that it came in or the container that it came in it kind of has like a really pretty like pattern on the side um, I thought that was really pretty. Um, and I love the plant in it. It's actually kind of big. It's different than any plant that I kind of have around the house. Um, but this is gonna go on our bed on that little um, thing that I put at the end of our bed. Um, when I put the blanket down, I put the thing on there. That's what this is gonna go into. If you guys know what I was talking about. And then I picked up some of these. This says, um, these say set up dish towels but i'm thinking they're more like a washcloth because that's kind of like the size of them but they are super super nice and i love them so i'm actually going to go ahead and wash these up and actually put these um in the kitchen and use them as a dish rag because that's what they just kind of feel like they're just really really nice and then lastly i picked up two pillows and that those are going to go on our bed in the master bedroom i picked up this one because if they had two of these ones i was so going to get it but i love this texture i love the look of this one it's just kind of got ivory to it it's so pretty and then i picked up one that kind of has like black stripes that matches the ivory um, and then i'm gonna put like a black throw blanket at the end of our bed that way it kind of like brings all the black together love this and that's why i bought the little black vase so that is it for my stuff that i got at home goods and uh now i'm actually gonna go put this stuff on my bed uh strip the sheets and get busy with my monday even though it's already one o'clock but i am gonna put this stuff away <laughs> See what I mean when I said it won't last long? 
Look at our yard compared to theirs down there. They have, oh, he built a little snowman down there. How adorably cute. But yeah, hello. <laughs> like all of the snow is melting. And those guys are back at it down there working. Oh my goodness. Wow. But I told you guys it wouldn't last long. It's still up there though, like in the mountains and stuff. But yeah, it definitely didn't last long. <sighs> wow. Um, our patio again is a mess because we brought in like all the chairs like closer um, when it was storming the other night because we didn't want the chairs to like blow away or anything like that. So I got to go back out there sometime and uh, fix that, clean it up a little bit. Um, <coughs> it's funny, I wanted to say this to you guys. When my niece Hannah was here, she's like, Auntie La, how do you like your ruggables? And I said, oh, I absolutely love them. I've washed them once and um, they are they are fantastic. You just kind of lay them back down. The only thing that I struggle with is that they don't stay in place. So I need to get some of those um, rubbery things that keeps your rugs in place because they don't stay in place. Like we walk on them and you know, the next thing you know, it's inching over closer to the refrigerator here or it's inching over closer to the uh, bottom of the cabinets there. So they don't really stay in place like I would prefer them to, but I mean, not a big deal. I mean, that's easily fixable with those little slippy proof things that you can use or whatever. But anyway, so nonetheless, I made up the bed. I've cleaned up the kitchen. I have uh, dinner ready, or it's not ready. I don't have my pasta in there yet. But uh, yeah, this is looking super, super good and delicious. It smells amazing and I cannot wait to eat it later. I'm not gonna add the noodles just yet. I probably won't add the noodles until about 3.30. Um, that way it gives them a nice good hour till about 4.30 to cook. Um, but it definitely will not take long for the noodles at all. Um, I actually just posted this recipe on my Facebook page and later on I will post the link on uh, for this in my Instagram as well. So just in case anybody is interested in it, uh, I will share the recipe with you and I will leave it in the description box below too. I'll, I'll save a link and put it down there, but yeah. Looks delicious, smells delicious, can't wait for dinner tonight. So I um, looked up the recipe for this um, soup that I'm making today, and it is actually a, considered like a pasta fajol. Um, very similar, I would assume, to the one at Olive Garden. Obviously, this one has gluten-free stuff in it, but the noodles and everything. But yeah, so I will um, leave a link to the soup um, in the description box below. I think I said that earlier. And there's one on my Instagram, and there's going to be one on my Facebook page. 
under Angie. But yeah, this is looking so, 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 so good. And like I said, at 3.30, I was gonna put the noodles in, which is in about 15 more minutes. I just went and took my makeup off and put some comfy jammy bottoms on and just kind of got myself ready for snuggling in for the evening because it's cold outside, obviously. And uh, yeah, it'll be nice. Brian will probably be home in about an hour or so and I uh, will have dinner and I already got the plates out and looking forward to just a nice cozy evening upstairs. So, yes. Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars, battle the same old 